Stuart, we've known for many years. I'll, I'll read just a portion of what he does, and then I'll explain why he's a part of our family. After graduating from the Royal Academy of Art with a degree in fine art and graphic, and eventually, he eventually found his way to the United States, where two years after he arrived in the United States, and on a green card, if I'm not mistaken, yes. he was drafted into the United States Army, <laughs> where he served for two years. <laughs> and I should mention that, of course, he served honorably. So, welcome to the United States. <laughs> in 1997, he was invited to join the United States Air Force Art Program, which this is where we got to meet him, and this is where I find him to be incredibly unique. Part of his function when he was with the United States Air Force was to uh, capture the history of what was occurring at that time via portrait. And his portraits, uh, of which we are the recipient of actually three of them at our, four of them, I think, in our hospital right now, but some of his, five of them, sorry, five of them. Um, some of his paintings, um, if I understood correctly, are exhibited internationally, which includes for, the, for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth at the, in, um, in London, but he also has some originals in the Pentagon, and I believe in one or two presidential libraries. He'll correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure I was. Correct. Oh, I'm correct, okay, ding, ding, ding for me. So he came to my office, um, yeah, maybe four months ago and said, Rich, I want to do something. And I said, okay, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to make a portrait of Tibor for the hospital. And if for any of you who don't know, I mean, to have something that you would commission is not an easy or, it's not something that traditionally we are funded to, to provide for our hospital. And... Um, how could I, obviously I was not going to say no, and not only uh, after I saw the mock-ups and, and he, the iterations as he was working on it, working on it, uh, I just thought that it was phenomenal that he would feel so moved by the story that he would give of his time and his treasure to paint this portrait for us. Um, so this portrait will, when construction's done in about a year in our main lobby, which will be beautiful, um, will hold this portrait, but more importantly, the naming will be very clear as you walk into our hospital in the main entrance. The name will be present, the portrait will be there. Um, and we have a plan C that I would say is that over time, we don't want the history of Tibor to be lost. So what we will do, other than hosting the portrait and having the naming in our main lobby, is we're going to find a wall in the hospital where we can be more expressive with his story and take about 30 or 40 feet or 20 feet, whatever I get away with, to, to tell the story. So that for generations to come, it's not just a random building named after somebody that we do not remember. But in fact, we will see him by face, we will know him by name, and we'll be able to look at something that tells his story on 20 to 30 foot. That will take us some time uh, because of construction, but um, we are grateful that we get to receive this portrait. So we'll do the unveiling and then I have a, one last surprise after that. So with that, if you guys can help me, why don't we bring it over here to the um, right of the stage? Yeah, none of it. We'll just pick it up. I'll go on the back. You guys jump in there. From the... Yeah, yeah. Stuart, yeah. Why don't you come over with him because you guys will... Yeah. Right? Grab it? Yeah. 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 So, so we'll take a minute here. So well, let's do this. Um, we're going to do two things. So we will do the unveiling with Walt and Stuart. We'll let those that are in front get their portraits, and then we will stand back and let anybody that wants to take uh, pictures of this come up and do so. Does that work for the audience as well as our folks up front? Okay. So uh, with that, Walt, Stuart, show us the portrait. I thought you'd be impressed. Stuart, I hope that makes your heart proud. So let's do this. Uh, just briefly, I think those have already cleared out in the front. If there's anybody, we'll have time afterwards also, but 
um, by all means, if anybody wants to come and do a drive-by and do their picture, please do so now. <laughs> Remember, we still got more to do. And Stuart, you can smile now. <laughs> Okay, remember, this is going to be quick because we still got two or three more portions to go. Okay, I'm going to give a five-second warning, and then we're going to move on to part two. So one. Yes. So just so you know, Rosie is the daughter to Tibor Rubin, and Frank is the son. And this is your copy of the original... Um, to keep is yours. <laughs> yeah. Frank, don't worry, I didn't forget you. And actually, we'll, Frank will do yours as well, so we'll grab the second one and present that to Frank at this time and do a few photos. But wait, there's more. I'd like to ask um, Colonel Singer to come up. These copies resonated with the organization, so Stuart hand-painted uh, the Jewish war veteran emblem on the bottom left so that you know your participation in bringing this day to fruition. Thank you. Okay. okay, so here's, 